sigmo, verb, male pile, meta AR. Have no idea what I'm talking about? That is okay. I'm Daria, it's August 23rd, and that is exactly why you keep watching. For those of you out there who really enjoy taking photos, whether out with the family, road trip, or recreational activities, you're probably aware of the plethora of action cameras out there on the market. You know what would be even better than mounting cameras that can attach to your helmet and do lots of cool stuff? A sensor-packed, easy-to-use action cam that brings new features to the table that are hard to beat. These rugged, waterproof, energy-saving camcorders do more than snap photos and mount onto your gear. Both models can shoot 1080p clips at 30 frames per second and 16 megapixel still photos while recording video. Their unique low power 1.4 inch chroma color display makes navigating menus and playback a breeze. Also the ability to sync up with other Garmin devices through the Verb's Ant chip. That in particular is a very compelling feature because that chip allows for remote control functionality with other Garmin products and data transfer with fitness sensors like heart rate and temp monitors. Cyclists would love this. Verb Elite differentiates by adding on built-in Wi-Fi, data sensors, and very highly sensitive GPS, but my favorite feature of both Verb and Elite is digital image stabilization to smooth things out when shooting something shaky like sports. Also, a lens distortion corrector counteracts the fisheye effect. It really makes Verb an auto-corrector even before the editing process begins. Both the 299 Verb and 399 Verb Elite are set for wide availability this September. Perfect timing because these are great gifts for holidays. The holidays! I just got excited. Capture those moments you never thought were possible. Meet Sigmo, a voice translating device that lets you talk and understand in more than 25 languages. Traveling, business tripping, sometimes those bulky dictionaries and rather awkward translations on your smartphone just make things uncomfortable. Don't get me wrong, internet and smartphones have made it miles easier to converse with people in different languages. But this device makes it so simple. Sigmo instantly translates words into any language you need them in. All you do is set your native language, then the language to translate to, speak into the device, and you will instantly hear translation through the speaker. Wear it around your neck, attach it to your belt. It works with iOS and Android devices only, but just at the moment. Pairing via Bluetooth and actually uses the Google translation brain for most of the work. Currently seeking funding on Indiegogo, hoping to raise the $15,000 goal. This would finalize the app, finish testings, and start manufacturing the first run. The price is unbelievable, 50 US dollars. It doesn't require a high-speed data connection, is made from eco-friendly material, and is just overall a darn good idea. Want to know what mail pile is? Not a pile of mail. It's taking our email back, meaning no more spying. At least I hope the NSA doesn't get to this one. Or else, is it back to pen and paper? Crowdfunding on Indiegogo, MailPile is written by a small team of open source vets and privacy advocates from Iceland. We believe the world needs a better, free software and web mail solution. They say? They say if we want privacy and encryption, we have to do it ourselves. MailPile is a free software web mail program that runs on your personal computer or cloud and your data is supposed to stay under your control. The fact that it is open source lets you see how it works and if you want, modify it to suit your needs better. Designed for maximum speed and vast amounts of email. After their first release in January 2014, they are said to spend six to nine months fixing bugs, fleshing out features, and very importantly, responding to user feedback. Initially being tested on Linux and Mac, making sure it runs well on Windows they intend to work on if the project is funded. There are no ads, no spying, just powerful software backed by people who are dedicated to build the secure web mail client we want. Not to mention the more important accomplishment of making an impressive statement for online privacy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little sick of hearing about Google Glass competitors, but Meta has a plan. They want their product to do everything Google Glass does and more, and look like something you want to wear be easier to use without distraction, and maybe overcome that glass-driving ban because of it. 
Google Glass is an accessory for the phone. Meta replaces these things, says the leader of the startup. The real reason this is news? They are AR glasses. Meta anticipates to have the virtual equivalent of a MacBook Air and iPhone assembled into glasses. It projects virtual images in front of you and detects your hand's interactions with them. 750 developers are on board designing this thing, hacking 24-7. It costs $667, articles to keep comparing it to Iron Man, but come on guys, it's more like Tony Stark in his lab or Tom Cruise in Minority Report. Iron Man's in the suit. But let's get real, when Google Glass first advertised, it showed a lot of things it's not yet capable of doing. This reminds me of that. Perhaps it's more of what's in store. Also about this hand recognition thing, how well will this work? Will it only respond to certain angles and gestures? I don't wanna be a hater, but they are marketing a very high level of functionality as if it were available tomorrow. Who knows? Gotta love competition. Now that you are aware of these new devices and Indiegogo campaigns, tell me what you think about them. Excited or skeptical? I won't know what you think or feel unless you leave comments below for me. And please check out last week's episode if you missed it.